What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. It's live for 45 at 6 a.m. Get on up, y'all. It's time to rock and roll this morning. We're going to be having some weight exercise. So take this moment right now and go and grab your small, your medium, and your heavy set of dumbbells, y'all. Today, we're going to be getting into a really, really awesome uh, topic, by the way. But today, we're going to be doing some weight exercise. All right. So we want to really increase the intensity in our life for 45s because now it's time to really show how strong you are and have became. All right. So if you're still coming in, if you're still coming in, we're going to be doing some weight exercises today. And I want you to go and grab your small, your medium, and your heavy set of dumbbells. Okay, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna take you through a few exercises today that's gonna really challenge your upper body, um, and it's gonna. Ch we're gonna be challenging ourselves cardiovascularly. We're gonna be doing just something, just a slight bit um, more than what we have done in live for 45s in the past. So make sure you go get your water and go and get your small, your medium, and your heavy set of dumbbells. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Time to rock, y'all. Time to rock. Time to rock. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna grab some twenties. I got some twenties right here, and I'm gonna get some twenty fives. No, you know what? I'll get some thirties. I'm going to get some thirties because we are in it to win it. Oh, thirties. And then I'm going to get some forties. And I'm going to get some forties. Oh, all right. Make sure y'all got y'all small, medium, and heavy set of dumbbells because have a good exercise today. Come on in, y'all. <clears throat> oh, man. All right, y'all. So... If you have not already, make sure you go and get your spark bottles. All right. This is great for coffee, smoothies, water, etc. My favorite bottle ever because one thing it also reminds me of my uh it also reminds me of like my uh spark mentality. And uh I'm sure it'll do the same for you. So go and get it and we're gonna go from there, y'all. All right. Check out our mission and vision. We're really building a spark community and we really applying efforts there. Uh, so I hope you hope to see you there as well. All right. So um, today uh, we're going to talk about um, your will be done. This past Sunday, uh, we was we was into talking about your will be done because um, God has an intent for what he wants to be done on earth. All right. So, and that's God's will. So God's desire, God's intent, um, um, what he intends for this earth to, um, be or his desire for everything on earth is his will. And we want to make sure as humans, we are walking within, um, within God's word in Jesus name. And when we do that, we are um, living according to God's will. All right. So whatever you do, 
uh, today. Um, you want to think, you know, the old saying, uh, what would Jesus do? You know, because that's very in uh, correlation, directly correlated to the way God wants the world to operate or his earthly um, children to operate. All right. Uh, so whatever you do, ask yourself, what would Jesus do to help guide your actions, your mentality, your thoughts and so forth? All right. And. If you don't know how to um, operate according to God's will, just break open that Bible. OK, break open that Bible. Um, this past Sunday, we was talking about um, what the Bible represents. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. That's what the Bible stands for. Babe actually came up with it. And uh, I really think that was a awesome, awesome tool, or awesome, awesome acronym for the Bible, because that's exactly what it is. Basic instructions before leaving earth, because we're all going to leave this earth someday. And we want to make sure that we are um, living according to God's word and doing God's will before leaving this earth. And a basic instruction before leaving earth can be found in the Bible. And I know the Bible can be thick. It can be challenging to even um, just um, get through or read. Um, you know, those are one of my challenges as well. It's either like, like reading the Bible. So you're not alone in your uh, journey if that's something that you are challenged with. Or if you are someone that just don't read and just don't just can't figure out how to uh, live according to God's word without reading the Bible. There are so many different resources out there. There's what you're doing right now. You're joining Live for 45 and we're talking about how you can just basically get started. Um, I was also there and I'm still there. Right. And I'm telling you right now, it's just you just have to get started. You have to get started in order to get started and getting started is going to be different amongst everybody else. OK, so getting started. Getting started to me is going to be different from uh, it's going to be different from uh, getting started for you. So however it is that you can get started uh, reading your uh, Bible or. Uh, connecting with God, uh, you want to do that so that you can make sure you're living according to uh, God's will, man. OK, so um, just start the way that you can. And this is one way to start. Good job. And also um, just ask God, how can you start if you find it to be troubling starting? All right. Um, so we're going to get into the prayer and then we're going to get into our weightlifting session. All right. So remember, living according to God's word, break open that Bible. You can go and get some Bible apps. You can um, pray and ask God for help in that area. Um, ask God to send Jesus your way. Um, you can um, just start by speaking with God uh, upon your own. Uh, you can start seeking the knowledge for yourself. Um, so yeah, just get started, just get started and find a way to do a little something because a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Y'all. All right. So God meets you where you are. God's going to meet you where you are, no matter what. So always make sure that you remember that. Okay. So you don't have to read the entire Bible starting out. You're not going to be perfect, but God cares about your efforts and cares about you getting started. So Let's get started and let's do it together. All right. So we're going to pray about it. All right. Here we go. Uh, dear God, thank you so much for bringing uh, the viewer and uh, me uh, this morning uh, on Life for 45 together to do your will, God. Um, getting connected with you is something that you want all of your children to do. And we're going to do our best, God. And I ask that you guide our minds, guide our emotions, guys our, guide our intents to connect with you on such a even even a more deeper level than what we have got um, so that we can uh, do our best to live according to 
your will, your desire, your intent for this earth, God. Uh, please help me to become even stronger um, mentally and physically, God. Um, please continue to uh, manage my actions, my emotions, and just help me to do my best in all that I do. And guard, help me guard my heart with all that I can in all in everything that I do, God, because I know the enemy is always trying to try to um, try to attack and try to get next to me and um, and try to stop my purpose that you have for me. God, uh, help me continue walking into your path and uh, get it into the Bible is uh, something that all your children need to do, God, and as well as myself, God, uh, because that is basic instructions before leaving earth. And um, if the Bible doesn't work, help me to navigate or seek other ways to get into your word, God. There's apps out there. There's uh, other resources out there, God. Um, even if I don't have an app, um, you made a way to even just to allow us to build a community of people that have access to those resources, God. Uh, please continue to manage everything that I do, manage my walk so that I can be and we can be so much more connected to you than we were yesterday because we all believe that a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. And you're going to meet us exactly where we are and to uh, allow us to become stronger. God, please protect us in this workout. Allow us to do what we can do, not what nobody else could do, because, again, a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing and allow us to focus on form over speed. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hey, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to get into the. We're about to get into our um, weightlifting session, so I hope you are ready. So you're going to grab your um, small weights. Grab your small weights, okay? I got me a bench right here, all right? And we're going to do just a couple things, all right? And you can, you can have a chair. You can have uh, whatever it is that you... I uh, feel like you need, you can have it. Um, but what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to be starting with, uh, we're going to be starting with our, with, with our small weights. Okay. And I want you to sit on that chair or you can even stand up if you want. Okay. And we're going to grab our small weights. Okay. And small is something that you can do a lot of repetitions with. All right. And over here I have some 20s, some 20 pounders. All right. Cause that's what I'm going to use. And what we're going to do is we're going to be going up like this, come up, twist on the way up and we're going to come back down, <sighs> go out and push up just like this. <sighs> See how I'm bringing my elbows together. I'm coming down, open up, press up, bring them together. Open now and press up. And if that's too much for you, if that's too much coordination, just do a regular shoulder press. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> We're going to be doing a total of, I would say, 20. We're going to do 20 repetitions. Here we go. And three, two, one, and go. <sighs> one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ugh. Bring it down. I know you're feeling it in them shoulders. 
and I want you to stand up. We're going to go into some jumping jacks, okay? Jumping jacks. Get ready. All right. We're going to go into some jumping jacks. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. We got 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Next move for our weights. <clears throat> We're going to sit back on the bench. I want you to grab your medium weights now. Grab your medium weights. Okay. Oh, and you're going to sit right back down. Okay. You're going to do the same move that we just did. Shoulder press. And now we got a total of 12. Going to do 12 repetitions. Okay. Same thing, but heavier weight. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. Oh, I grabbed the wrong weights. <laughs> All right. I meant 30s. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. You for to do how many? With 40? All right, y'all. I got 30s over here. So grab your weights. 30. I mean, um, 12 repetitions. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bring it up and go. One. I'm on. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, breathe, eleven, twelve. Okay, put those weights down. We're going to go right into them jumping jacks again. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. You know what we got. You're going to ride into them heavy weights. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you put those. Heavy weight, the medium size back. Now you're grabbing some uh, heavies. All right. I'm going to actually grab some padding for my bench here. <clears throat> Get some padding for my buttocks. All right, here we go. So now you're grabbing your heavy, your heaviest weights. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to the same move. Shoulder press again. Okay. If you're going to do the rotational, bring your elbows in, come down forward, press it out. Okay. Same thing. Here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, oh, sorry. We got a total of eight. We got a total of eight repetitions, y'all. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Good. Go out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
Seven. Eight. Good. You know we got them jumping jacks. Get it up. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Good job. Good job. You're going to do that for one more set. One more set. All right. Your heart rate is probably up a little bit. All right. But now we're going to do this for one more round. Just one more. All right. So you got about 30 seconds. And you're going to get right back into it. Okay. Make sure you get that water. <clears throat> Make sure you put your heavy weights to the side. You're going right back down to those small weights. <sighs> Same move. We got shoulder press. Get there. Don't take too long. All right. Let's go. Here we go. We got 20 and three, two, one, up and down. Go out. One, two, feet flat on the floor. Three. Four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go, y'all. Bring it down. Bring it down. You know you got jumping jacks. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. Getting back to it. Getting back to it. Grab those medium sized dumbbells. You know we got 12, you got 12 repetitions. Here we go, 10 seconds and you start. Do not take all day, you're not here to play this morning. Get the medium sized dumbbells, we got 12 repetitions. Let's go, same move in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good, put those medium dumbbells back, stand it up, we got jumper jacks in 3, 2, 1, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go. Take it back to the bench. Get those heavy dumbbells. We are getting stronger this morning. Because we have to be strong on earth, y'all. We have to be strong on earth. Increasing the intensity. Because the intensity in life is going to keep increasing. You got 10 seconds. You're ready for them heavy weights. You're grabbing heavy weights. And we got eight repetitions. Same move. All right. Don't cheat yourself. Grab your heavy weights. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. One. Breathe out. Breathe. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Oh, yeah. There we go. Stand it up. Jumping jacks in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, y'all. We're done with that one. Now we're going to get ready to go into some bicep curls, okay? It's the last move that we have, but same technique. We're starting with small, medium, and high weight dumbbell, okay? Small, medium, and heavy weight dumbbells, okay? I'm going to actually keep the same ones that I got, 20, 30, 40, but you pick what's good for you. What is small? what is medium and what is heavyweight for in regards to dumbbell um, bicep curls for you. So go grab them, put the others, put the other set back if you have to and identify. So you got 10 seconds to grab that small weight for your next um, exercise here. Okay. Again, I got 20s for my small. Here we go. Now, when you're doing your bicep curls, I don't want you to come all the way down. I don't want you to come all the way up like this. I want you to stay within that range. You see how I'm going within a range where my elbow is still slightly bent the entire time. See that? All right. So same thing, same move that we've done. Same repetitions. We got 20, 12, and eight. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. One. Come on. Stay in that range. Two. Stay in that range. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. All right, y'all. So now we're going to switch to the other side, right side or left side, whichever side you started with, go to the opposite. Three, two, one, go. One. Remember, slight bend at the elbow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. 
nine, control it, 10, come on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, good job, y'all. Good job. Now we're going right into those jump ropes. Add some jump ropes. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Grabbing those medium sized dumbbells now. Medium sized dumbbells. All right. Same thing, but we have 12 repetitions. Okay. Same thing, 12 repetitions each arm. All right. I'm going to try to go with 30s again. Okay, but this time, like when you're going heavy, I don't want you doing the uh, bicep curl where your palm is supinated. I want you to bring your palm to the side of your hips. So your palm is facing you, not out. I want your grip to be facing you just like this. And then when we come up, it's going to be the same technique. We're doing 12 repetitions. Try to keep a slight bend at your elbow the entire time. Boom, come back up and come back up. Okay, we got 12. I'm going to start with the right. I just used some energy on the left. <laughs> Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, whoo. Next set, I'm probably going to go right in between uh, thirty and twenty. Grab some 25s next time, but because I did it with this arm, I'm going to try to do it with the left. Okay, but feel free to go down and wait at any time. All right. Same thing over here. We got 12 repetitions. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, Woo. All right, get to them jump ropes in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Grab those dumbbells again. We're going heavy again this time. But instead of doing um, the weight that's, if it's outside of your uh, strength right now, it's okay to go down to appropriate weight so that we can focus on form, over speed. We want to get that full range of motion in our lift so that we can become stronger in the area that we're training. So grab another weight if you have to. You got about 20 more seconds and grab that heaviest weight though. This should be your heaviest weight. This should be your heaviest weight. Okay. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Your heaviest weight in consideration of your form. And your speed. All right, y'all. Here we go. Going right back into it. Three, two, one, 
and go. One, this feel better. Two, I'm on, we got 12 again. Three, four, five, six, let's split them. We're gonna split those up. Six, six, and six, and six, here we go. Six the other side now. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do six to the other side. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Ah, there we go. Six more in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, five uh, six. Ah, woo. Get them jump ropes in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nineteen, and twenty. Woo! Hey, uh, that's the end of our live for 45 weightlifting session. It's gonna take it into a stretch. Stretch them shoulders out. <sighs> great job today. Cam, I know you're doing great. <laughs> I know it's a new one for you. Hey, but we gotta stay stronger. We gotta be stronger in all that we do. All right, bring it up behind your head. Good job. Bring it down. Other side. <sighs> Remember, God's will is his intent for the world. You shape. You have a strong impact on what's going on. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Two more. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> One more. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Hey, y'all. Great job. Great job joining today and getting that weightlifting session in. I hope you're feeling strong. I hope you're feeling amazing because I am and I know you are, too, because a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing, y'all. So we will be back for more weightlifting sessions on Live 445 at 6 a.m. Hey, y'all, if there's nothing else, SPARK stands for Smiles, Pride, Patience, Attitude accountability, respect, and knowledge. And we all know we do not have a strong spark or a bright spark or can't even relight that spark that's deep down inside of us that can sometimes get lost in the enemy's challenges and, and seeds that it tries to plant within us. If we do not have a strong faith in God, in Jesus' name. All right. Hey, love y'all. Peace.